Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try a problem, an example problem, with a different rate for each of the two. In this case, we're dealing with tractors. It says here that we have a new tractor that can plow the field in 36 hours. When we use the new and the old tractor together, the field can be plowed in 26 hours. So how long did it take with the old tractor all by itself? So again, we're going to write our general equation that the rate of the first times the time of the first plus the rate of the second times the time of the second equals the whole job done. So here, let's say that the first is the new tractor and the second is the old tractor. So what is the rate of the new tractor? Well, the rate would be inverse of the time by itself. So we can say that the rate of the first tractor, which in this case is the new tractor, is equal to one over 36 of the job done in one hour. So basically we take the time that it takes to do it by itself and we take the inverse of that, that becomes the rate. Now what about the rate of the old tractor? Well that's the unknown. We do not know what that was that we're trying to find. So once we find the rate of the old tractor, we take the inverse to find the time for the old tractor by itself. The time for the whole job to be done, well let's see here, they tell us what that is. So we know that time one equals time 2 equals 26 hours because they tell us that together the old and the new tractor take 26 hours to do the whole job together so the time in this case is the same it's just that the rates are different okay so rate of the first which is the rate of the new tractor times the time together which is 26 hours plus the rate of the old tractor times the time together equals the whole job done so here we have the rate of the new tractor which is going to be 1 over 36 times 26 plus the rate of the old tractor times 26 is equal to 1. And now what we have to do here is solve for the rate of the old tractor. To do that we have to multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator which is 36. So multiply the left and the right side by 36. So here the 36 cancels out, we, we get 26 plus the rate of the old tractor times 36 times 26 is equal to 1 times 36, which is 36. Subtract 26 from both sides, we get the rate of the old tractor times 36 times 26 is equal to 36 minus 26 or the rate of the old tractor times 36 times 26 is equal to 36 minus 26 which is 10 or the rate of the old tractor is equal to 10 divided by 36 times 26 okay what is that equal to uh, we take 10 divided by 36 divided by 26 equals well you know what let's leave it like that Let's leave it because that just gives us a kind of a, a bad uh, decimal, uh, decimal and we don't want to deal with that. However, what we can say is that the time of the old tractor is equal to the inverse of the rate of the old tractor. Now that's easier to deal with. So in other words, that this is going to be equal to the inverse of this, which is 36 times 26 divided by 10. And of course, that would be in terms of hours. So that's how long it would take for the old tractor to do the whole job by itself. So that's easier to play with on the calculator. Let's see, 36 times 26 divided by 10, we get 93.6 hours. So the time of the old tractor is 93.6 hours. And that's how long it took with the old one. No wonder they bought a new one because the new one can do it a whole lot faster than the old one. And that is how it's done.